Welcome to our lecture online, and now we're going to look at the tangent of a half angle. We need a half angle formula that reduces the tangent of a half angle into something with a full angle, and here it is. This is the equivalent, so this is the, what we call the identity. And how did we figure that one out? Well, there we use a slightly more interesting trick to get to this particular equation. So what we're going to do here is show that the tangent of let's say a over 2, a half angle, can be written as the sine of the half angle divided by the cosine of the half angle. Now if you remember from the previous videos, we have an equation equivalent of that. So this is equal to the square root of 1 minus the cosine of a divided by 2 divided by the square root of 1 plus the cosine of a divided by 2. All right, now we can see, of course, that both the numerator and the denominator are divided by the square root of 2, so that can be simplified to the square root of 1 minus the cosine of a divided by the square root of 1 plus the cosine of a. Now, that still doesn't look anything like that, so what, what can we do now? So this is where the interesting mathematical trick comes from. We're going to move, multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator and see what happens. So this is equal to the square root of 1 minus the cosine of a divided by the square root of 1 plus the cosine of a. And we're going to multiply this times the square root of 1 minus the cosine of a divided by the square root of 1 minus the cosine of a. So an interesting trick. So what happens when we do that? Let's multiply this together. So this is equal to the square root of 1 minus the cosine of a times 1 minus the cosine of a, all divided by the square root of 1 plus the cosine of a, times 1 minus the cosine of a. So when we simplify that, we get this is equal to the square root of 1, the quantity 1 minus the cosine of a quantity squared, divided by the square root of 1 minus the cosine squared of a. All right. Now for the denominator, we have to remember that the sine squared of a, oop, square is not in the right place here, the sine squared of a plus the cosine squared of a is equal to 1, which means that the sine squared of a can be written as 1 minus the cosine squared of a. Notice I can now replace this by the sine squared of a. So this now becomes, this is equal to the square root of the quantity 1 minus the cosine of a, quantity squared, divided by the square root of the sine square of a. Now notice the numerator, underneath the radical we have a quantity squared, in the denominator, underneath the radical we have something squared, which means the square negates the radical, so this can therefore be written as 1 minus the cosine of a, divided by the sine of a. And therefore, that's exactly what I have over here, so we can see that this is a legitimate identity that reduce, that takes the tangent of a half angle and converts the something in terms of the cosine and the sine of a full angle. So this is what we call the half angle formula for the tangent. An interesting trick to get to a very, very slick, very simple reduction from a half angle to a full angle.